This is an update on my Glowing Mushrooms project for kids. After teaching this to many kids, I've gathered some fantastic new ideas. While the old version used white LEDs and a complicated paper circuit, this updated version uses RGB LEDs and a much simpler circuit. In fact, I've developed three different circuits with varying complexity. The first version is a simple paper circuit that takes about 20 to 30 minutes to make. It features a handy battery pocket, an on-off switch and a magnetic stand. The second version is a small DIY circuit using conductive tape and a gloss bin. It takes just 5 to 10 minutes and is even simpler. I call the last version the party trick. It takes about 3 minutes to make and only needs an LED and a button cell. And last but not least, I'll introduce you to the light sculpture I made and explain how it was done. Let's start with the mushroom. Grab the middle of a sheet of sandwich paper, bring all corners to one side and give the paper a little squash. Now open up an entry at the bottom and blow into it to inflate the mushroom cap. Tap the cap until it sits flat on your fist. Straighten it out and use a pen to lift the top back up. And just like that, you're done. The paper circuit template is for three mushrooms. Cut out the template and fold all dashed edges. Then trace the circuit with conductive tape. For a first test, you can bend the LED legs and connect them to the circuit while sandwiching the battery like that. Now glue the circuit together. Insert the battery and wrap some transparent tape around. Widen the battery pocket using your finger. Add the LED to the circuit with the long leg pointing to the plus side of the battery. Then insert the battery. The LED should light up if both legs touch the tape on both sides of the circuit. Now add strips of conductive tape to attach the LED legs to the circuit. Hold the battery in place with the binder clip. For the little stand, you can glue both pieces together, adding a thin neodym magnet in between. Put the circuit into your mushroom and hold everything together with transparent tape. Now you have finished your mushroom. Turn off the lights and enjoy. Using magnets is an easy way to attach your mushroom to any other object. If you want to turn the LED off, simply remove the binder clip. If you want, you can push this little flap all the way into the battery pocket and reattach the clip. For a simpler circuit, you run two strips of conductive tape around a cloth spin like that. Then you attach the LED legs to the circuit and clip the battery. Only problem, these springs might short circuit your battery. To solve this, you add a small strip of regular tape over the springs up front. Or you push a toothpick underneath the conductive tape. Once finished, you can wrap transparent tape around the mushroom stem and simply remove or add the battery to switch your mushroom on and off. For the party trick circuit, put the LED on a button cell and hold everything together with a cloth spin. Put it inside the mushroom and make everything hold together with a rubber band. Add a binder clip to the bottom to attach your mushroom to any magnet or object. If you want to turn your mushroom off, disassemble it. I was trying the party trick version at a party of mine and prepared a tree trunk to attach all the mushrooms using magnets. After the party, this made me think about connecting all mushrooms to one circuit and using this as a light sculpture in my room. To make this, you can use my tree trunk template. Make lots of mushrooms and solder flexible wires to each LED. Make sure to insulate everything. Make a small hole in the tree for the wires and use hot glue to attach the mushroom. Collect all plus and minus wires into bundles and connect these up to a 3 volt battery with an on-off switch. Now you're done. What amazes me is how the LEDs all start with the same color and the longer you watch, the more chaotic the pattern becomes. It's very soothing, like watching a campfire, but indoor. The LEDs I use are a game changer for this project. They slowly fade through all colors without the need for a microcontroller. 
I'm linking to these in my shopping list. By the way, my work is intended to be used by teachers and parents. That's why I decided to package my templates and shopping list into downloads that you can buy for a small fee. Getting these gives you access to my teachers pages that are designed to be used in workshops with every step broken down into a video loop that can be shown to class or a group of kids. In my next video, I will show you a variation of this project, Light Up Jellyfish. I use multiple LEDs to produce these ever-changing color gradients. If this is interesting to you, subscribe to my channel. That's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.